Hello, my name is Greg Embry. I'm here to show you how to measure the trigger voltage on a Vivitar 283 electronic flash unit. We're going to be using the Micronta 18 range multitester. These are available from Radio Shack. Your first step is to check the position of the knob on the multitester. Here we've got it turned to off. The multitester comes with two wires, one red, one black. The wires have different length handles on either end, short and long. What we'll do for starters is to take the short end of the black wire and insert it into this socket here. This socket is labeled with a, a negative sign, a minus sign inside a circle, and the letters COM. We'll then take the short handled end of the red wire and insert it here, right next to the black wire, in the socket labeled with a plus sign inside a circle, a letter V, the ohm sign, and the letter A. From here, we'll turn the knob four clicks over to the position that reads 501K, 500 and 1000. Set that down for a moment. With the Vivitar 283, make sure it's on and make sure that the orange light is blinking. Make sure the autothyristor is set to M. And then we take, we look for the negative terminal, which is embedded inside the groove that engages the hot shoe of your camera. You can see that tiny, tiny white protuberance there. What you want to do is stick a tiny screwdriver like this into this groove so that it engages that little metal piece inside the groove, like so. Let's see, you can get a good look. Lay the whole thing down on your workbench carefully, making sure that the screwdriver stays engaged with the groove. Now, again with the multi-tester set on 501K, you want to take the long-handled end of the black probe and the long-handled end of the red probe and work as follows. You will try to get things untangled. There we go. Take the black end and touch the metal part. By the way, while you're doing this, do not touch the metal parts of the probes at any time. Okay? Just handle the, the uh, plastic parts. Okay? You will touch the black probe to the screwdriver shaft and the red probe to the silver colored knob, the metal knob, at the bottom of your of your flash unit. And you can see that the needle is moving just imperceptibly toward the right. Now, if your needle had jumped to any degree over toward the right, if it had moved anywhere in this direction, test is over you've got a high voltage Vivitar 283. What we're going to do though, it doesn't look like we have a high voltage one here, so we're going to turn it to 125 just to be on the safe side. We'll be reading the bottom row of numbers, the bottom arc here uh, of numbers. They're labeled 0, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. What you want to do, 
again is touch the black probe to the screwdriver shaft and the red probe to the little knob on the bottom of the camera and you can see we're getting a little bit of movement good sign All right. next move is to turn your multi-tester dial one more click to the right to where it says 25 now in this position we'll be reading the multi-tester along the third arc of numbers from the top second one from the bottom this third arc is labeled 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And once again, it's the same procedure. You lay the, get the wires out of the way, you lay the black probe on the screwdriver shaft, the red probe on the bottom of your flash unit, and there you go, you're getting a a decent reading and that is about yeah five it it fluctuates because it's hard to hold the probes steady there you go about eight volts so we've now tested this unit and affirmed that it's a low voltage unit safe to use on any digital single lens reflex camera of the modern era so thank you for viewing and happy shooting.